At Still the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa, we have Professor Sani Fage, a political analyst, joining the conversation this morning. Uh, j just before we have him, you know, react to this, you have the abducted train passengers who were abducted uh, on the 28th of March, 2022. Now, out of these persons who were abducted, 11 people have been released by about 40 people, according to reporters, still in captivity. Now, these train passengers have reached 101 day as we speak in uh, captivity. Now, families, relatives, and friends of the remaining captive have taken to the streets in Kaduna for a peaceful protest, appealing to the government to secure the release of the passengers. Let's have Professor Sani Sage share his thoughts on this. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor Sani Sage. Thank you very Sani. much. Yes. Thank you. All right, then. What do you make of this development? I mean, so far you have about 11 persons who have been released and you still have uh, over 40 who are still in captivity. Now they have taken uh, to the streets to protest, asking that the government ensure the release of uh, their family members as well as relatives and what have you. Um, it is an unfortunate uh, situation uh, that uh, the government should have responded to this much earlier, but uh, it has to wait until people uh, uh, you know, protested. I think that is um, an indication that the government has not taken the issue uh, seriously, uh, because had it been, uh, it, it takes it uh, serious. Uh, these things could have been resolved in a, within a very short uh, time. In fact, uh, it could have been prevented that will have been the situation. But since it has happened, uh, we are seeing almost a replica of what happened with the Chubok girls. Now, if care is not taken, uh, the government will keep on dragging its own feet, despite the fact that... Uh, uh, the people will pro uh, protest and uh, they will allow it to win out, especially now given that it is the eve of uh, elections. So the attention of government will be on elections and nothing will be done for that one or on it. Uh, but in this protest, they've actually asked that government should go, uh, you know, to do anything. They're expecting that government should go to whatever land it is. And you have this terrorist also saying that uh, they are going to start killing them if their demands are not met within 24 hours. And so what can the government do? Negotiate? No, you see, the, the, gov the government has uh, so many options to do. Uh, one, I think they are not uh, unaware of the location of the people, uh, where they are. So the government may take that uh, option, or alternatively, the government may take the option of uh, negotiating with them in order to secure their, or the release of the captives. But I think that it's a little bit too late, uh, because it's now 100 days. And like I said, if we don't take any uh, serious action, we are going to see a replica of uh, Chibok girls. You see, the Chibok issue is now how many years, and still we have some people in captivity. So I, I, I think what the government ought to do now is to uh, locate the place, which I'm sure they know uh, through intelligence report, and see how they can pre uh, uh, the captives. Look at what happened when some captives, uh, you know, took, uh, uh, took uh, hostages uh, between our borders and Niger. All the way from Germany, America sent in troops, and uh, it was able to relieve uh, the, the, the captives within a very, very short time. So I think this is what the government should do, they, they, uh, because that will now send a signal that the government is serious Whenever there is any issue like that, uh, the government will respond accordingly. Do, do you also think it's rational that you have uh, the Abuja uh, trains resuming its activities at a time where you still have 
uh, victims who were kidnapped not being released? You see, if uh, we say the, the train should not resume, we are giving in to the terrorists. And this is what they want. You know, terrorism uh, always attacks soft targets in order to achieve its own objectives. Now, if you say that uh, we should suspend the train, uh, uh, Abuja Kaduna train, I think that uh, will now send a signal that the government is weak and that will encourage them uh, to continue uh, with their own ac activities. So I think what the government should do is to uh, uh, bring out the, 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 the train and also secure it, okay? Because one of the major uh, defense against uh, terrorism or any insecurity is the preemptive uh, measures meaning they should take measure and secure the, the train and then allow it to continue. Otherwise, uh, it will be, uh, you know, uh, sending a very, very wrong signal. Uh, they, they will have the audacity to continue with it. And others will also join because they know now the government is weak and so they can join and try to get uh, the, what the, whatever objective they decided to, to pursue. All right, so, so do, do you think that this protest that uh, Nigerians, uh, friends or relatives of the, or those who are still in captivity have embarked on would yield any result? Uh, do you see government acting? Yeah, it, it will lead results if it is, uh, you know, sustained. One of the reasons why our leaders don't take uh, strike and issues like that is because they know uh, people don't have uh, the, the will to sustain the pressure. Now, if they will sustain the pressure for some time, I think it will lead uh, result, especially given the fact that we are now on the eve of election and no government will want, uh, you know, uh, to lose uh, public support. So I think they, they should uh, continue with it uh, peacefully, and uh, it is their democratic right to do it, and it is the only way and means by which they can make the leaders respond to their own needs. Well, thank you so much, Professor Sani Fagi, for being part of the show this morning. We appreciate your thoughts, and we look forward to sharing more of your thoughts on more national issues right here on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that's the size of the show. Very, very saddening. You can only imagine what uh, these persons will be going through right now in the hands of their captors. But we're hoping that the Nigerian government would swing into action and would step up her game and ensure that lives are protected. Thank you so much. If you miss out on any part of the show, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. And Plus TV Africa Lifestyle, I am Messi Bopo. Thank you for watching. <laughs>